Hey, Walter Sorrells back with more tips for the knife maker. Today, I'll be reviewing this, the 15 inch Vibor t-shirt press, but with a twist. You know, I'm a knife maker, and so my main interest in this gizmo is for heating Kydex thermoplastic, which is used for making sheaths like this right here. So that's going to be the focus of my review. But what if you want to do something crazy with it, like make t-shirts, don't let me scare you off. Stick around, and we're going to circle back to t-shirt making at the end of this video. All right, let's start with this machine and what it does. The machine is designed to transfer DTF or direct to film transfer designs to t-shirts. There are also some other kinds of thermal transfers. It'll do them all. Basically, you get some company off the internet to print you a bunch of designs, which you can then heat up on here and then smash them onto a t-shirt. Very popular. Again, more on that later because that's not really what I'm interested in. Now, before going any further, I should mention that Vivor sent this to me for free. There's also a link down below that sends a trifling amount of money to help out the channel if you use it to buy the machine. So take that for whatever it's worth. Vivor is an online company that sells all kinds of funky machinery, including several different t-shirt presses. Some of them have different attachments and stuff, but the variant that I got retails at 189 bucks at the time of this video. It's got a 15 inch square press capable of heating up to over 400 Fahrenheit, which is well over the temperature that's required for either heating Kydex or for doing thermal transfers. So it's got plenty of heat in the back pocket. The platen is Teflon coated, so stuff won't stick to it and it swings 360 degrees. So you can get your Kydex or your t-shirts or whatever on and off easily. The kit also includes an attachment for doing transfers onto mugs and other cylindrical items, water bottles, stuff like that, and another for printing onto hats. The machine assembles in about two minutes. Basically, just pop the controller on the <clears throat> exceptionally rugged mount. Yeah, well. Then you pop this plug in here and screw the retaining lock down, plug it in, turn it on, ready to rock. Easy. To use the Vivor t-shirt press, first set the controller to your target temperature, then you set the timer to whatever time you want the item to get heated for. Once the machines come up to temp, you plop your Kydex or your transfer or whatever it is onto the machine, smash it down, hit the timer, and when the beep goes off, you pull it out. That's really about all there is to it. The controller is simple and intuitive, witness the fact that being a man, I didn't bother to read the directions or do anything else to avoid getting my man card punched here. You set the controller by hitting this button that says setup and then hitting the plus and minus buttons to move the temperature and time up and down. Hit setup again and then you punch mode and it starts the timer. I wouldn't say the build quality is amazing, but it's fine. I highly doubt I'll ever break this thing. There's just not that much to it. So if you want to make a Kydex sheath or perhaps a certain other item that if you mention it, your channel gets demonetized, but that rhymes with fun schmolster, the first thing you have to do is to heat up the Kydex. Kydex and related plastics like Volteron are thermoplastics. I think they're based on PVC. But the point is that they can be heated up and they get softer till they're about the consistency of a wet lasagna noodle. After you heat them up, you smush them down over some mold. They cool down and they harden into the shape of that mold. A sheath, for instance. Now, your mold can either be in the form of a Kydex press or some kind of vacuum forming device. In the good old days, people used toaster ovens and things like that to heat Kydex. Not exactly a super accurate way of doing it. The beauty of a t-shirt press is that it allows you to be very precise and controlled with the temperature of your Kydex and the time that it's held. 
See, one of the biggest problems you'll run into in making sheaths, as well as schmolsters, is inconsistent heating of the kydex. Too hot, you ruin your kydex. Too cool, and you don't get a good, clean, tight impression of the mold. The result, wasted kydex in the former case, or loose, goofy-looking sheaths that may rattle or have poor retention detents. Both big problems. So, having made a variety of sheaths and sheath-related items, both using a press and a vacuum former with this machine, I can tell you that this t-shirt press does exactly what you want it to do. It heats the kydex very evenly and consistently, and, uh, yeah, that's really all there is to say about it. It works great, period. So before I wrap up, let's turn to t-shirt making, just in case that's your vibe. How does it work there? Perfectly. You heat the press to the temp prescribed by the manufacturer of your DTFs, in this case about 315 Fahrenheit. You do what the little booklet they send you says to do, peel off the film backing after it cools, bam, perfect heat transfer. I did a whole passel of t-shirts subtly advertising the knives I make, see how I did that? Nice, huh? And I got a bunch of shirts. Just for yucks, I ran them through the dryer at high heat, just like they say not to do in the directions. And guess what? The designs didn't curl up, they didn't crack, they didn't come off. Everything worked perfectly. I didn't have one single one that didn't work right. I didn't have to practice. I mean, it just worked. It was easy. So that's pretty much it. You know, in most of my videos, I have a big long wind up, pros and cons and all that. There's really not much to say here. It's nicely built, nice design, reasonable price, works great. So you want a t-shirt press at a fair price that keeps a steady temperature and does what it says? Right here. All right, guys, thanks for watching and keep on making those knives or t-shirts. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like what we're doing here, please subscribe and make sure that you click on that bell so you get notified of all the latest videos. Want to buy a knife from me? Check out my modern blades at tacticsarmory.com. Digging the channel? You can support our video making efforts on Patreon. You know, I've been banging away on these videos for like 10 years, so I hope you'll show some love for all that hard work. Link in the cards and descriptions. Finally, if you're interested in making Japanese swords, check out my full line of Japanese sword videos where I show how to forge Japanese swords as well as how to polish them and how to make fittings, handles, and scabbards. WalterSorrelsBlades.com